So you guys made it to the final round of Y Combinator. Mm -hmm. And before we move on in that direction, I would like to tell our viewers what sort of uh, an achievement that is. Well, Y Combinator is one of the world's leading startup accelerators and companies like Airbnb, Reddit and Dropbox are an, a product of their investment. It's something like the Harvard of yeah, the startup Harvard, world. Yeah. Cool okay, this uh, so, how was your journey into this, you know, this show? Sure. So, what happens is, um, it's the last day to submit applications and uh, I'm messaging Aditya uh, saying, bro, we really need to submit, we really need to submit the application. <laughs> so, he comes to my room, it's 11.30 in the night and uh, we fill out the application form. But that is not enough. We also have to shoot a video telling, um, telling explaining them what our product is. So it's a video, me and uh, Aditya sitting together explaining it to them. So we, we are like, all right, it's just a video, right? How difficult is that going to be? <laughs> we start at 1.30 in the night and we get our final take at 7.30 in the morning just before breakfast. And we are like, all right, fine. We have finally got it. Now uh, uh, let's submit it. So we take help of Jaski for editing it. And uh, we submit and we are not expecting to get in, obviously, to like, um, start <laughs> like Airbnb and Dropbox have gotten. How can we get in? The selection rate is less than 10%. Dude, way lesser than that, I guess. <laughs> so, 15 days later, we get an email saying you have made it to the next round, which is a uh, telephonic interview. And we are thrilled. We are like, damn, dude, we were not expecting this. Uh, so, the second round is um, actually a video call with one of their YC partners. And uh, the vice, the video call starts, and she is the coldest lady in the world. <laughs> she starts, she directly starts with questions. No good morning, no good evening, or whatever, nothing. It's just cold, and she's like, all right, talk, talk, talk. These are your questions, you have to answer. And like I said, the hard word of the start. Of the <laughs> <laughs> totally. And uh, so we answer, and then uh, Aditya is very pessimistic about moving to the next round again. And somehow we make it to the final round. And uh, the interesting part is, uh, up till last year, the final round used to happen in Silicon Valley in San Francisco. But uh, this year, a lot of people from uh, India and the neighboring regions in the Asia region made it to the final round. So they decided to conduct in Bangalore. Okay. Now, great. All right. So we have the interview happening in Bangalore. We are like, all right, we will fly in and give the interviews. But the interviews happened to be right in the right in the middle of the comprehensive exams. So we have to now go and convince the administration, all right, sir, please let us go for, this is very important for us. And somehow we get the permission. We go in in the morning, we come back at the night, and next day we have another paper. So yeah, this, this it's been one hell of a journey. And it has uh, pretty much taken up most of our last semester. <laughs> okay, at this point, you must have heard stories about how difficult it was to establish yourself and to be more specific I, I just recently watched a video of how Oracle got fame, got into fame. It's about how Larry Ellison identifies the potential of IBM or an already established company and builds upon it parallelly and they beat them to the market. Right. So these are some things that you know you cherish first of all and it's a turning point if I'm not wrong. So yeah. I'm pretty sure you would have identified it by now. <laughs> And yeah, this is the you know yeah. the tipping point as you call it. Um, there is a very interesting book that I had read called Investor's Dilemma. So what happens is, let's say there's a big company, uh, IBM. Let's say they are making million dollars computers, right? They are like, all right, we make thousand million dollars com uh, computers, and we are fine with it. We do not really need to look at the personal computer space, which is a two thousand dollar computer used by normal masses. But then what happens, Apple comes in and they recognize, all right, there's actually a big market for the $2,000 computer as well. And now, as we say, um, I, we don't know much about IBM today, but we know a lot about, about Apple, it's the most valuable company in the world. So it is about capturing the markets that the bigger players are ignoring at this point. And that is what um, starting up is, that is what uh, high growth businesses are. Absolutely. Uh, so you might want to keep this in mind when you are out there establishing yourself. Because, like he pointed out very clearly, it's very important to identify the glitch in the system, if you call it, or mm -hmm. a flaw that you can capitalize on. Yeah. And that's exactly what they, they did, and look where they are right now. 
Another question I'd like to ask. Uh, the three of you started this. Aditya, mm -hmm. you both, and the yes. Both. Yes. Yeah. So uh, how it got started is, you know, we were uh, we were all friends, and we were always talking about the things that uh, we can do together, right? We were always thinking of doing a startup, yeah. and then we we realized that uh, we or we also have uh, experience in this finance field, and we were uh, seeing that maybe we can you know create something out of this uh, algorithmic trading boom that is coming out right. in India, and so. That's how we, you know, we we just brainstormed. Uh, we had a couple of sessions. We were talking, talking, and always talking. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so that's how it, you know, uh, it, it evolved yeah, into. It evolved into it. Yeah. So you guys are based on Bangalore, or what? Yeah. Um, yes. So you're from Bangalore. Okay, I think the startup runs in our blood. Hashtag Bangalore. <laughs> <laughs> totally, man. That's one hell of a city. So oh, yeah. what happens is um, every time we have a vacation, yeah. uh, for example, winter vacation, summer vacation, we go to our Bangalore office, and we have named Bangalore these. Office. <laughs> yeah, we have named these as seasons. All right, season one may all this happened. Season one was winter vacation. Season two may all this happened. Season two was summer vacation. So every season something new is happening, right? So, so that's really I mean, I, we forward. can't. Yeah, it's we a can't, dynamic process. Yeah, we can't see all of what happens on yeah. camera, but yeah. <laughs> but, but, but I don't agree with you. The Bangalore is the hub of startups in India. Yeah. You know, uh, when we were living in Bangalore, uh, we were in this place called Kolev, and every other uh, flat right, uh, was a part of startup or was starting a uh, you know starting up yeah. his own company. So, so it looks like is. the Silicon Valley yeah. of India. Yeah. Yeah. Totally totally is, is, totally and it's it's in the air there. So yeah, like actually. you're just taking a break out drinking chai or something and you just start a idea pops into your mind. Pops into your mind. <laughs> yeah. I'm from Bangalore no, to and I'm pretty much <laughs> <laughs> yeah.